Hey, Listen. everybody. Well, welcome to the Chris and Dan show. I got, offended. With us. I got offended because we're hey. not we're not doing Aerosmith Dream On because, of course, I have had a pulse for the last four decades so, so and I've I heard got, it. I got chewed out by Bill Troxel, who recommended the song we're going to we're going to react to here. Kickstart my heart. Bill, don't get your Troxels all in a bunch. Bill, Bill said you got to. How do you play anything from Molly Crew besides "Kickstart My Heart"? That's got to be the first song you play to anybody who you're who you're ah, showing Molly Crew to. You so, broke okay. Motley Crew rule, rule number one. So, and then don't he talk also about said, Motley Crew. He also said Dan would like "Dream On" by Aerosmith, but he, Dan already does. Oh, that so was the dude, this. Bill. You and Chris both deserve like <laughs> massive hate. How do you think? There is somebody alive on this planet, especially in the United States of America, that has not heard Dream On by Aerosmith. I'm offended, man. You haven't heard Kickstart My Heart. So I haven't heard Kickstart. Same ballpark. I don't care how good the song is. They're not on the same level, man. Aerosmith and Motley Crue, right. as, far as, as far as popularity, uh, you ain't winning that argument. Uh, yeah, Aerosmith might be a little pop, more popular. A little? Just the a, guy hosted American Idol for like th- four seasons. That alone. Agreed, agreed. But in the 80s, I guarantee you Molly Crew is more popular than Aerosmith. For uh, the 80s. Yeah, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about yeah. in my lifetime. Modern day, sure. So, a little background on this song. Bill and Chris, you guys go start your own reaction channel together <laughs> and play each other songs everyone's heard. So, Kickstart My Heart. This song was made because... Um, Dicky Six, he had died twice, right, from from uh, drug overdoses. He had died for two minutes. Who? Uh, Nikki Six, one of the members of Molly Crew. Wow. Okay. So he had died. Um, if you saw the movie The Dirt, you would know this story. You got to see the movie The Dirt, Dan. Uh, you know Dan. what? I actually thought about that today. I thought about that because tomorrow, well, tomorrow's football is a bad example, but my wife's, the in-laws are here. And they're always watching TV. So, like, it gives me time to do my own thing. So, I'll watch. I'll probably watch it this weekend. Well, yeah, you'll be watching football, which is understandable. But but you got to watch the dirt, right? Anyhow, in the in the movie, they they show this scene where um, Nikki Six has died. And this paramedic saves his life, right? So wow. He has to give him two adrenaline shots to the heart to save him, right? Wow. Because he says... He's like, I'm not letting Nikki Six die on my watch, right? No joke, man. I looked at our crash cart today at Yuma Clinical Trials, and we have adrenaline in there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So um, they made this song. They, they wrote the song after, obviously, he had lived through the incident. And I believe he died one more time. I believe he died a total of two times in a man. short period of time. Still alive? Uh, yeah, he's still alive. Still alive. Wow. So that's what this song's about. Um, Lucky, man. Count your blessings. But it's not, they wrote this song because of that incident, but I don't really think that's what this song is about. It's just more about getting adrenaline, you know, out of life. So, well, sounds like our research studies. There you let's go. go. <laughs> let's go. This I haven't heard. Okay. Bill, you, you re- possibly redeemed yourself. You might win some money too. This was the first song, uh, second part here. This is the first song that my wife, Julie, she uh, liked by Molly Crew. First, Let's one. see. It's not enough for me to like it. I like a lot of this shit. It's, I need to buy it. That's sure. a different level of like, that's a love. That's right. Let's go. So let, let's see. Let's see if you do it. Sunset Boulevard when it was actually cool. Yeah. They can't do that stuff over there anymore.
Is that Sharris an auto tune? No, it's an instrument. He's got it in his mouth. Mick Mars, the guitarist. It's not an it's auto like, tune. No, it's it's like a um, the hell are those things called? I can't think of the instrument. Harmonica. Yeah, like a harmonica, but it's in his mouth. <laughs> what that I forget, mouth do? I forget what it's called, but you can see him playing it. Who is it? Mick Mars is the guitarist. Mick Mars, what that mouth do, boy? <laughs> <laughs> The mouth do <laughs> so <laughs> who's that lead singer Vince Neil so you know the complaint I have about a lot of the rock songs that I've heard from this channel since doing this channels they're bore a little bit boring sure this is not I don't have that complaint on this song you how could you Right. You can't. <laughs> They're skydiving. Well, take the video out of it. They got like harmonicas up their ass. So there's all yeah. kinds of things going on. It's very entertaining. With that being said, I like it. I don't love it. I'm going to tell uh, you like they told Larry <laughs> David on Curb Your Enthusiasm. By the way, the new season's out. You got to watch it, Chris. Net Larry David selling his show to Netflix. And Netflix, the guy from Netflix, they try not to be mean to him. They're like, Larry, we like it. We don't love it. And Larry gets pissed. <laughs> you guys need to watch this. I like it. I don't love it, but I'm being genuine, not trying to not make sure. people pissed. Um, so I wouldn't buy it. Why? To me, I think the problem I have with Motley Crue personally is the music, like, unlike Iron Maiden, which is, like, a super aggressive, and, like, Metallica, which is the same, and Guns N' Roses kind of blends the... Guns N' Roses has a little bit of, like, trashy, but it blends it with smooth. The way I... And I, this may... I might offend a bunch of people here, Motley Crue fans, I'm sorry. It just comes off, like, too trashy for me. Is trashy. that bad? Trashy. <laughs> like... The dude's cocky as shit. I like him for that. The lead singer at the end, he's like, said something like, see you later. Is this cock? Who the fuck says that in a song? <laughs> but <laughs> I, the sound, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's entertaining, but it's like kind of too. You know which Guns N' Roses song I don't like is Welcome to the Jungle? Yeah. And Motley Crue's entire catalog I've heard is like that. Mm, yeah i suppose it's, it's i don't know what the be... word is i don't know if it's trashy or what because i'm not like bougie or anything like i don't want people uh, to think i'm fancy and don't want to listen to this so i think i get what you're saying so for me the reason i like this music is because it always brings you up whatever mood you're in it brings you up more for me yeah right? i don't care about that Right. I'm you weird. I'm a weird millennial. I like getting the press sometimes. Exactly. So <laughs> and, I, and and you don't have a problem with energy where most people do. So true, uh, true. You know, maybe this is not meant to be millennial music. Maybe it's so, just the generation right before me. So yeah, well, that's not necessarily true. I just think the music from the 80s, most of it was was an upper, right? It was yeah, it was meant to make you feel good. Right? Yeah. So, and that's what I like about Molly Crew. Almost all of their songs do that for me. Well, it's entertaining as shit. Like, this is better than the last song you played me. The last song you played me was good, too. Right, um, Sweet Home. 
yeah i actually like that one uh, i like that song better i like this i liked that song better to like almost purchase okay and then i like this one sure right but this one's more entertaining than that one and this more picks you up too the other one doesn't the other one's a different genre and maybe trashy maybe trashy is not the right word i just don't know how to describe what i'm obnoxious maybe no you just don't need you don't need the help with adrenaline you don't need the help with with energy right yeah you're but looking, i like iron looking, maiden too but, that's but yeah but that's something else that's not really energetic it's more aggressive there you go okay maybe you figured it out so you, you they, uh, they don't no. they're not synonymous energetic yeah, yeah. and aggressive are not synonymous man i'm sorry my like your fans like don't don't you know don't oh, I'm sure, get offended I'm sure, I'm sure bill understands and and you like seeing the reaction he's he's a fan of my crew music subjective i respect the talent though they have the talent it's just not for me right right and the well, lead I, singer I is cocky as shit i like him you gotta see the movie the dirt anybody who's I, anybody who I, ends a song with see you later in that obnoxious of a way is all right with me so you gotta see the movie i think you'll all right i'll see the movie it. I, but you got to pay attention to it. I'll watch it this weekend. All... I'm going to watch it. I have my laptop here. I, gotta I know you. TV. I know you. You'll be doing three things while you're watching the movie. You got to just focus on the movie because it goes real fast. That's how you watch fast. movies these days. All right. I'll watch no, it. I uh, promise. It goes real fast. Real fast. And it's I'll got watch. somebody liking it. Tommy Gunn. Uh, it's one of the main see. actors. I don't know if I like him. Oh, you don't like him? I, I don't even know who that is. Isn't it Tommy Gunn? He's oh rapper. Machine Gun Kelly. No, I actually don't. Oh, Machine like him. Gun Kelly. You, I don't like you, him. You don't like him? Okay, no. it's okay. I don't dislike him. It's a great movie. Uh, I watch Tomatoes. It. Rotten Tomatoes tells you it's a great movie. Ninety-seven percent by crit or by audience and three percent by critics or something like that. I watch it. You got me convinced, Chris. All right, Bill. I'm sorry, man. Like it? I don't love it. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll get you on another one. We need more recommendations. More recos. Yep. All right. Bring Thank it out. Watching, we'll, we'll take it all from trashy to classy. Let's go.